What is up YouTube Thrift School over here outside the thrift store. We're gonna head inside see what we can find to buy and sell I need an Amazon. Let's go. All right first things first some video game. What is that? $15 for football <laughs> $13. Oh They got some new pricer here. This is crazy All right, let's see if we can find any hidden gems out of this Possibly not Whoa Prices change fifteen dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thirteen. Okay, that's actually just kind of funny. Oh my gosh! I have never seen anything like that before. Now all colors besides yellow are fifty percent off. So at least these are fifty percent off. But still, that is wild. And maybe this Naruto. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, four dollars half price could be good. Fifteen dollars. Get out of here. Some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen. But we're gonna keep flipping through and you can see there's a lot of games probably because the prices are just really high. It's also a lot of sports titles. Oh yeah, this is the Rockstar Surfing game. For $2.50, I've actually wanted this for myself. I might get that, I might end up putting it back. I didn't feel like the, uh, the manual was in there. This game was fun also growing up. And that's only $2, I might snag that. Um, but I gotta find stuff to sell. That's what I'm trying to find. Two human for four bucks. Eh, I don't know. Might be good. Advent Rising. Wow, so all of these games are half off. Guitar Hero World Tour for four bucks. What else do we got in here? Mostly, mostly all sports titles. Uh, yep. Oh, Wii Music, I think that's a good one for, eh, it might not be, but we'll throw it in. Uh, what else do we got in here? Some Xbox One, Man Eater, Madden, Watch Dogs. No, no, no. Oh, Sims 2, that's a great game. Huh, all right, if I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. All right, so I ended up grabbing a whole bunch of DVDs. I put back most of the games. We kept uh, this Metal of, Hero, Metal of Honor Heroes 2. I'll pop the price up here for you guys. It's half price and it's complete, so that's nice. And I did grab the Guitar Hero World Tour. Uh, not bad. Oh, and I found this mixed in with the DVDs. It's half price and it's complete. Marvel Nemes Nemesis <laughs> Rise of the Imperfects. Definitely a good game to find. Originally at 13 though, but for about 650 it's okay. And we got a whole bunch of sealed DVDs. Club Dread, absolutely love that movie. Uh, we got Bachelor Party, Under the Tuscan Sun. Just some sealed stuff that's worth it, you know. And we're gonna go take a look at the toys down here now. All right. They got a whole bunch of bag toys. Oh wow, I've sold these a bunch of times in the past. These little Rubik's Cube things. Uh, I might snag that. This whole bag's only $1.99. So I don't really care about these other toys. They might be worth it, but I know the Rubik's Cube is, or at least it used to be. It's worth it for a $2 risk. Now this thrift store closes in about 40 minutes. So I gotta be semi-quick here. We have here Turbo Twist, probably nothing. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, don't see anything else mixed in here. We're gonna have to go check the shelves. Oh, who is that? This kind of looks like, kind of looks like George W. Bush. <laughs> it might be. For two bucks, that's kind of funny. That might be worth a little bit. I don't know if it's him or not, but two bucks, some masks do pretty well. All right, just noticed this mask also. This one's only 99 cents. I don't know what this is. It's like, has a weird antenna there. It's just like, oh, two antennas? Maybe it's an ant or a bug or something. That's weird. I don't know what that, ooh. Now we do have a bag. There's a couple Skylanders in here, a couple Spyros. Uh, some McDonald's toys, $3. I don't know, I might leave that. Anything else, what else do we got in here? Poker chips, no. I don't want to miss anything, but there's still so much more to look at. Rows and rows of toys. All right, so I'm looking through all the toys here, and I noticed this, and I definitely know this can be a Bolo Parcheesi for $2. I don't know if it's complete in here, but I'm gonna throw it in the cart anyways, because for a $2 gamble, take a look at this. This is the used price on Amazon, $70. 
$53. Now, last time I was here, I picked up a bunch of used board games and I got one comment saying, yeah, something like, yeah, you just got a whole bunch of missing piece games in your cart because I filled my cart. Lo and behold, every single game I purchase, I've already sent into Amazon or listed on eBay and they were all complete, every single one. So I got very lucky, that doesn't always happen, but uh, I threw that in there and we found a puzzle that's brand new sealed. That's worth a little bit of money too. So we're just gonna keep going through this, keep scanning. I'm not even gonna bother. When prices are you know, one to $3, I'm willing to take the risk so I don't count them in the store. If it's a little more expensive than that, then I will try to bust it open and count all those pieces. But let's keep scanning. Uh, what, what is this? This looks interesting. Scrap Racer Expansion. It's brand new, it's $6, but it's half off, so it's three bucks. Let's see, let's see if this game is worth any money. All right. So I'm using my Amazon seller app to scan that barcode there. And there it is, very high rank. Uh, no reviews, so it doesn't sell, $13.99, not gonna grab it. Leave it behind and keep looking. So I was just finishing up this aisle right here and take a look at this. We got a brand new sealed Lego set. I scanned it in and boom, 70 bucks. There's another $50 in my cart, profit. Let's keep looking. All right, this is interesting. It's a puzzle for $6, brand new sealed. And here it is on Amazon. And it sells great, has lots of reviews. It sells for $19 though. Not as high as I'd like. $10.71, so I'll make about $4.70. But it's small, it'll fit in a box. It's already sealed, I don't have to do any prep. I'll turn six into 10, you know, all day, any day. Now here's kind of where I draw the line. This puzzle right here, this Ravensburger, it's $6 as well. And you can see on Amazon, again, it's selling great. There we go. As you can see, it's selling great. Lots of reviews, it's selling for 18. But because it's bigger, the fees are a little higher. So I'll only make about $3.69 on it. Uh, it's almost four bucks. It doesn't really take too much effort. Maybe I grab it. Well, let's see, this is six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, three, make under four bucks on it, plus to ship it in, uh, not really worth it. Gonna pop that back, even though it requires almost no effort. If for some reason I get a return on it, it just wasn't really worth the effort for you know, under $3. <laughs> so just gonna keep looking. Uh, you know, I go back and forth on things like that. Sometimes I'll grab a bunch of things like that. It adds up but I'm not seeing anything else like that here. We have a Cranium Disney. I always like to look for these Disney spin-offs of games. Let's scan it in, see if it's worth anything. All right, just scanned it in. It's not even on Amazon. Weird. So, what I could do is try and take a picture of the front. I'm just gonna leave it, I think. They close in about a half hour. So it's a shame I don't have a lot of time to look this stuff up. We got a whole bunch of golf clubs here, but the prices are kind of high, 25 bucks for a single one. We have this Wave for 25, but a lot of them are half off. Got a Tour 3, we have a Top Flight Junior. I don't think any of these are great. Here's a Top Flight Women's, uh, $10, so it's five bucks. Some of these might be good, honestly. A Di Nike Dymo, I know Nike stopped making golf stuff, so could have some value there. It's in not the best condition, but if I'm leaving something here, let me know. We have a Strata. This one looks really nice for 13 bucks. Taylor made Burner HT, I think that says. So HT Rescue, so we'll leave that, but I could be leaving a lot of money on the line here. That's okay though. We're gonna go check the electronics real fast. Well, this is cool. Got a Guitar Hero guitar right here, but it's for PlayStation. It's only five bucks, but these need a dongle. It's also missing the battery cover. So I'm gonna leave that. I see a few of them here. Uh, that one's all duct taped up and that's missing. And it's $15, that's crazy. We'll leave that. Keep looking. Gotta get out of here quick. Well, this is neat. I found a bin of controllers. Got a PS2 controller for five bucks. A nice blue one, we'll snag that. Pop that in the cart. What else do we have in here? It's a PlayStation 1 for five bucks, but it's the DualShock. Uh, how are those? Analog sticks are kind of busted on this one. Eh, not really. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think the analog sticks are a little too sticky on that one. This one though, five bucks. Ooh, that was really nice. Stick that in there. Let's see what else we got. 
Wii controller missing the back. Uh, no. Alright, not bad. I'll take those two. Look at that. It's almost like me. My name is Jesse Durfee and this says J Durf. That's kind of, uh, <laughs> that is kind of made for me, but I'm leaving it. It's just kind of funny. Oh, we got a Jets. Nah, nothing good. All right, I think I'm pretty content with everything I got, honestly. There's some good profits in here. It's all adding up a few hundred dollars at least. It's time to ring out. Let's get out of here and hope you guys enjoyed.